What's up guys? It's day three of working on this Jurassic Jeep to get started. On today's episode, we're going to go ahead and try to get the throttle body installed, get all the vacuum lines hooked up and all that stuff to the throttle body, and get our O2 sensor hooked up. So stay tuned, let's get started. Go ahead and start getting our plate fully mounted. Uh, this was already sitting on the engine, if you notice from previous videos. I just wanted to make sure that there was a gasket under here, which there is. So, it wasn't fully tightened either. So we'll go ahead and, now that we know there's a gasket there, reinstall this. Are you even building cars if you're not making last minute trips back to AutoZone because you forgot something? It's never everything that you needed, even though you think you did. It's never there. Well, we got what we needed. Lily came along for the journey, and we're headed back home. All right, we got our little some missing. piece to the formula. Right here. Alright. 
All right, so it looks like the shop had originally cut this line already for installing the fuel pump on. That looks like our return line over there. So the plan is to use this as mounting. I did take this cap off. Um, it will drip a bit of fuel if I do, uh, but I did take this cap off and there is no, uh, see how this line has a lip at the end? See how that line has a lip at the end? This one is straight, so it's possible that fuel, it's possible that fuel could leak past that, so what we're gonna have to do is use a flare tool to make a little beveled edge for that so that when the hose goes over it, it'll seal tighter and pressure doesn't leak past it. So that's what we're gonna do next. All right, so we got our flare tool. This is a 5 16 line. So as you see, we have our line in the 5 16 slot. This is a piece for the yoke for the 5 16 What you do is you get this line in so that it's even with the base of that. Then we can stick this in here. And then we take this tool right here. Take our tool, we need to back up that piece as much as possible. It slides over like that. And then we can turn it this way and we gotta get it with that point tightened down on the center of that piece. All right, you see now that that is tightened against that. What we're going to do is continue tightening it until that piece bottoms out and then this should be flared. I'll show you after it's done. All right, as you can see now that it is bottomed out, we're gonna take this tool off and we'll show you what it looks like after now. The end of that fuel line is uh, flared now. So it's got a lip so that we should be able to be able to tighten down that fuel hose over it and not worry about leaks. All right, so I tried to mess around with some uh, mounting for this fuel pump off camera and decided to try something and just went for it off camera. Uh, so this bracket that's applied with it, we use the original hole on the frame with the fuel line clip to hold that in place. We've got it to keep it secured We've got a zip tie around the frame to kind of hold it more firmly to the, as you can see, it's nice and tight. And just in case that one fails, we have another one that crosses over it that holds it to this line, which is secured in by that clip here, as well as the rest of the clips. And just to make sure this line from the stress doesn't pop out, we have an extra zip tie here to hold all these lines together to keep that from popping out of this clip. So, fuel pump should be mounted pretty well, as you can see. Not really knocking anything or nice and secure. So we'll call that good for now. If it ever becomes an issue in the future, we can try to figure out a solution for it for the owner. 
Now we just gotta run our lines and we are good to go. left now is to tackle the electrical which we will start doing tomorrow if you like what we're doing please gently tap the like button down below if you have any feedback or you want to share your thoughts with us feel free to drop a comment down below and if you like what we're doing here at the channel we ask you if you don't mind just hit that subscribe button down below you guys have a good one thanks for watching bye bye